Service Metrology provides dimensional metrology, 3D modeling, and metrology application development services. The state-of-the-art facility houses multiple innovative tools to provide unique integrated solutions. Hi, my name is Greg Prince. I work for Service Engineering. And today I'll be giving you a demo on our SRE system. SRE stands for Service Reverse Engineering System. And I'm basically going to reverse engineer a machine part into a parametric feature-based solid model. First thing I'm going to do is create an alignment. This ties a basic coordinate system to my part. Now once I created the alignment, I'm basically going to outline the part and build this part from the base features up. First thing I'm going to do is create the outside shape of this part. And I'm going to do that by constructing it with lines. I'm also going to document the center cutout at the same time. Now as you can see on the screen is the basic outside shape of this part and I'm going to close these loose ends with the actual radius of the part which happens to be a quarter inch. Closing all these loose ends. Now I'm going to extrude this part by selecting the top surface. So as you can see on the screen there's a basic outside shape of that part. These bosses have a larger diameter at the bottom, a little bit smaller diameter at the top. So I'm just going to basically document them the same way. I'm going to pick the diameter of these, the bottom diameter. Now I'm going to extrude these bosses up to the top of the cylinder. Now I'm going to document the smaller diameter. Now I'm going to cut away that shape down to this point here. Next thing I'm going to do is a smaller cylinder. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit different diameter. Now I'm going to extrude that cylinder up. Now I'm going to document the smaller diameter. Now I'm going to cut away that material. I'm going to cut these through holes through the cylinder. Now I'm going to cut those holes through those bosses. So as you can see, the part is coming to life relatively quick, quickly here. Next thing I'm going to do is this angled cut through the cylinder. It's a little more difficult, it takes about an extra minute. I'm going to do that by creating a 3D sketch in space and document the path of this, this cut. I pick up the centers of these two holes. I'm going to project the center of this hole to the edges of the part. Now I'm going to put a plane on that axis of that hole. Now I'm going to document that diameter again. And I'm going to cut it through the cylinder. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this angled face. basically going to cut that shape away. This cutout was created with a half inch end mill, so I'm going to go ahead and add the radius of that end mill. The only thing we need to do now is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty-two tapped holes on this part. So we're basically going to do that by documenting the center of these holes first. Okay, now after documenting the center of these tapped holes, I'm going to tell my software to apply a 632 tap to each of my center locations. 
So now we have a finished product. We have our 632 tapped holes, we have our cutout and our angled face, we have our different diameter cylinders, and our cut throughs. Our SRE is also very portable. Using a tripod, we can take care of any of your reverse engineering needs in the field. This uh, concludes our demonstration with the SRE system.